Wake up! Don't sleep on the job. Now, this has taught you well, my friend. No one could ever withstand eight hours of my kind of encouragement. <laughs> I'm actually tired. You're a whole day's work, my friend. your voice. Speak up, my friend. Tell me. Spirits, you and I. I doubt that. Not really? No, and I. We are both men of the shadows who fight the secret wars of the world. While 99% of the world is oblivious to our existence. States. At least that gets longer, I'm pleased to say. What? Oh, it's job is confusing. Yeah? You and I both know that the job is the job. There's no questions, there's no morality, there's just success and failure. I just don't know why you do this. Why would an overpaid assassin risk his life for a bunch of strangers? They're innocent. What? They're innocent. No! No! No one is innocent! Especially you, my friend. You know, I know you. From Afghanistan. You were assigned to kill a diplomat that I was protecting. Her position was compromised. <laughs> Thanks to my craft skills. You phoned in the Air Force and was sent in a drone strike. Oh, you, uh, you killed that target that day. I always do. Lives and 30 civilians. I had no earthly idea what was happening. Farmers. Hers. Simple people. My people! I'm 
the side yourself, asshole. Forgive me, gentlemen, I just got an ear full from sec death. Shit rolls downhill. Jamal, put me in a good mood. Did you fix the PR issue? Unfortunately, still dealing with the backlash. The latest reports are saying that Harris Corp is the CIA's secret weapon, that we're killing women and children indiscriminately in Afghanistan and so on. I can kill the stories on all the networks by the end of the week, but it's gonna cost us. <sighs> Pay it, I want this shut down as soon as possible. Roger that. Next order of business, finance. Ma'am, we're losing market share both to Blackstone and XRC. They're taking more and more of the U.S. contracts, and the Brits haven't hired us in 16 months. Well, I'm not worried about the Brits right now, but the U.S. contracts are our bread and butter. Gentlemen, this means war. Jamal. Ma'am? Leak a list of Blackstone's operatives to XRC. Tell them we'll give them stock in exchange for cleaning house. Cleaning house? One competitor is manageable. Two is a problem. Make XRC eliminate Blackstone or buy them out. Otherwise, we'll do it ourselves. Got it? Got it. Go on, McCoy. Zane Keith Hsu just bought another thousand shares. Keep an eye on that. Don't do anything right now. But if he purchases even one more share of stock, I want to know about it. Gentlemen, this is not casual Friday. Yes, ma'am. The uh, experiment has been decommissioned as ordered? It's done. All subjects were terminated with extreme prejudice. All confirmed kills, all made to look like accidents. All verified? Of course. I oversaw the entire operation myself. Damon, you look like you have something to say. Go ahead, spit it out. Well, it's just that all of the bodies were burned, uh, car explosion, stove explosion, etc. But in three of the locations, none of the subject's DNA was found on any of the surfaces. And there were slight inconsistencies in the uh, dental records and no outward sign of struggle. All of which make for a great bedtime story for conspiracy theorists. Look, ma'am, all due respect, the operation was shut down as ordered. The end. No one outside this room will ever, ever know the experiment ever existed. And the operative? <clears throat> KIA, ma'am. Who was it? David Shepard. No family, no next of kin. Very well, gentlemen. That will be all. It's just a matter of time. It's a dry secure. You guaranteed me. Relax, Mr. Douglas. Everything is under control. You have to do your job. And unfortunately, we have some setbacks. Setbacks? But we're working. What, what setbacks? <laughs> Nassim, what setbacks? We seem to have a competitor. Someone else who knows the true potential of the specimen. This competitor oh. is to the specimen. And now, oh, it's man. Do you know what they call it when you sell a top secret weapon to a foreign national? Huh? They call it treason, Nassim. Treason. Okay? And do you know what happens when you commit treason? We can fix this. 
They fucking kill you. They kill you. I swear to you that you will not be harmed. And if I go down, Nassim, you go down too. You hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them all your dirty little secrets. I'm gonna make sure they send your fucking ass to Gitmo. You hear me, you son of a bitch? Get those girls back, Nassim. Hello? Hello? Don't worry, Douglas. We will recover the girl. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let me know when you're happy. Let me ask you something. What's up with Pepper? I don't know, he's an asshole. What do you want from me? Well, where is he? Look, am I trying to watch him? Look, Harris Corp gave us a secret form assignment and he'll be back with the team at the Yeah? When is that? Really? We are really doing this right now. I'm just saying, I think it's pretty stupid to separate the team. It's illogical. One of us is gonna end up dead. Damn, Garcia, we are not gonna fall apart and get killed just because one guy's absent for a few weeks. Yeah? What if he gets killed? Yeah, well, that man feel no pain, so I guess he'll be fine either way. Vasquez? Yeah? When this mission is over, remind me to kick your ass. Ends. You should have just killed those whores, Sheriff. We know you faked their deaths. You brought this on yourself. You guys are like family. I don't want to hurt any of you. You put us in this situation, you asshole. It was a simple order. 700 kills and then you get cold feet? These girls are innocent. You're a mercenary, you idiot. You're not a hero. You had a mission and you failed. Now you have to pay the price. The same price we all pay when we fail. Go. So have some fucking self-respect and give yourself up. Listen to me, all of you. You know me, and you know I'm no fool. I'm doing something that needs to be done here. If you leave my house for right now, I'll let you live. I hate to tell you this, buddy. But you're a little odd gun, Shep. Let's not do this the hard way. Last chance, Shepard. Give it up. This day comes for all of us in this business, Shepard. Today just happens to be yours. No, my friend. Today is your day.
25 years. 25 years in the Air Force with the last five being on loan to the agency. 25 years, 10 deployments, and over 100 covert missions. And still my own operative thinks he could sneak up on me in my own home. I don't sneak. I'm here to talk. Talk. Now you want to talk. It takes a special kind of man to do what you did. Reckless. Desperate. Effective. Dangerous. So I'm a liability. That's why you tried to kill me. You failed at the simplest mission I ever gave you, and then you disappear with the targets? Who does that? The mission changed. I decide the mission, Shepard. Or did you forget that? And to answer your question, if I had known how disloyal you were, I might have sent the team out to kill you, but the fact is, I did not. Then who did? We had a mole from XRC. Roger. The man who came after you. XRC had a bounty on the girls. Roger led the mission to kill you, but I didn't send him. I guess I misjudged you. You think? And take that stupid voice modulator off. NSA has voice recognition technology. They can hear you. They can track you. I know. I know how it works. Who do you think worked on the prototype? A lot of good it did you. You know, I should have fired you two years ago when Eve died. Leave her out of this. No, I won't. It's true. I told you not to marry her. Love is cursed in this business. Excuse me, ma'am. There's a lady with a visitor's badge who says she has a 10 p.m. appointment, but I don't see her on the roster. She has no clearance. I'll just tell her to. Send her in. It's okay. Last minute. No time for protocol, but she's okay. Send her in. Hello, Danielle. Hello, Mr. Shepard. You're early. I like that. Have a seat. Thank you. Well, as you might imagine, we already know everything about you that you could possibly tell me in an interview. Sign here. Follow me. Ma'am, what did I just sign? Constitutional waiver. If you ever breathe a word about what you've seen today, you'll be killed without trial. I understand. Back to my office. Put this on. Go sit at my desk. Now I want you to look at the screen and when I get back, you will give me an analysis of the genetic data and its strategic potential for weaponization. That is your interview. I'll be back next year. Hey, my love. Hey, baby. 
We sound happy to hear from you. How's your business trip going? Bless <laughs> Glad to hear it, baby. And the presentation, and what role I take in? Let's say cute. That's the day that I know. Hey, what's all that noise? Sorry. Hey, we gotta go. David, hey, hey, David, I need to tell you something. Are you listening? I love you with all my heart, okay? Don't you ever, ever forget that. Tell me you understand. Hey! 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 was the only truly innocent person I ever met. And I just couldn't protect her. So yeah, I lost it. Just poured myself into the job. Every kill was about her. I became a monster. So when you gave me the five target assignment, I was ready to go. But when I found out they might be connected to her death, I couldn't ignore that. I apologize for the secrecy and the holographic image, but it was the only safe way to get the message to you without detection. Your wife, Eve, did not die in the explosion, as you probably believe, but was killed before she could expose them. The Psychodyne experiment sought to eradicate illness by harvesting extraterrestrial DNA from the Roswell crash site and using it to create humans immune from all disease. Unfortunately, the experiment required testing on newborns without their parents' consent or knowledge. Eve discovered computer files proving this, but was killed before she could expose them. I know I am next. Government agencies suspect foul play now, and that's why those involved are tying up loose ends. There are five women who survived the Psychodyne experiment. They are the only ones who can prove what I'm saying, and they are marked for death. If they appear on your company's target list, please do the right thing. Don't let Eve's death be in vain. Yeah, Shepard. I'm about to do something crazy. And I can't order you to do it. But I need my team. Copy that. What are you about to do? Damn, Dad almost killed you. What are you about to do? It's top secret. Classify. You know, if your mother... Don't. 
All I'm trying to tell you, son, is life is worth living. Yes, you lost your wife and your mother. I lost a wife, too. You left a wife, and you weren't there to save her when your enemies came to get her. I wasn't either. You know, I've been prosecuting bad people for a long time. Sometimes good people get caught up in the crossfire. You can't blame yourself. If I don't do this, it will be my fault. What's the key for it? Safe deposit box. In case. And you didn't think to check with me first? I didn't know who I could trust. No offense. My plan was to capture the girls and find out the truth. If the story was a lie, I was going to finish the job. But if it was true, things would get complicated. The story is true. I mean, it has to be. I found out too late to warn you, but the kill order came from the highest levels. I'm talking, I'm talking Veeps, Joint Chiefs, SecDef, and with private funding. Well, Mr. Vice President- Shut up, John, the... just shut up. This whole thing is your baby. You're the one that caused me to support it. And you said, and I quote, this is gonna be the next step in human evolution. Well, what I actually and said, you, sir- Jerry, you signed off on this. And you said we were going to have a battlefield multiplier that was going to save American lives. That's what you guys said. And it's still I'm candy. talking now. 995 babies that died because of this stupid experiment. Babies, which I found out much too late, had already been stolen from their parents. Now we're going to have to live with that. But let's talk. Gentlemen, government resources were used to commit mass murder. Now, the fact that it was an accident, it's irrelevant. But make no mistake, if we don't clean this mess up now, it's not just political suicide. We will all quite literally die. Now, you can talk. How are we going to fix it? Respectfully, sir, that's why we're here today. The gentlemen who are here will give us the answers that we need. They better, Jerry, for all of our sake. Gentlemen, let me put your minds at ease. Harris Corp is about completing the mission at any cost. That's our brand. You want us to make the problem disappear? Consider it done. Within 14 days, this experiment, its scientists, and anyone who knew anything about the experiment will be erased. We need it done in seven. That will cost double. But we can make it happen. If you don't mind my asking, the girls don't actually know they were part of the experiment. Why the priority on killing the girls instead of focusing on the witnesses? If the results of this test is holding fast to what we believe to be true, it's only a matter of time before these girls gradually develop their abilities. And this causes talk and people to trace back to their roots. And if this gets back to national laboratories, say no more. You'll be pleased, I assure you. 
There is one loose end, though, I see. The owner of the Psychodyne patent, he needs to be eliminated, yet you've provided no information on him at all. Do you not want him killed? The patent holder is anonymous. The revenue goes into a secret bank account in Switzerland. Uh, we've looked for him for years and haven't been able to find him. The inventor of the process, Eve Shepard, was killed a couple of years ago in a National Laboratory terror attack. He has remained in hiding. He's, he's, he's like a ghost. But we will keep looking for him. Your job is to clear up the rest of this mess. Understood. Good day, gentlemen. Since it was such a sensitive mission, I thought I would trust it to who I thought was my best operative. That hurts. Good. I followed protocol. I did my research. But the more I found out, the more I knew what I had to do. Lisa Montoya. Si soy yo, ¿quién es? The one who sent you the video. Do I know you? No. But I think you will. I need to ask you a question. And then I'll tell you anything you want to know. What? See in the video.
shit! Man. No! He wouldn't take this offer for 5,000 euros! I have no idea who they are! I think you said son of Sam. No! Sonic Blast, damn it! Ah! Sonic Blast! What the hell just happened? I don't know, you're driving! You must have done something wrong! Get your gun, get your gun! Sonic Blast initiated. Do you have a bad day too? Something like that. I'll get your gun! After I saved Luisa, I took her to a safe house. I asked Garcia to watch her while I went after the other girls. Let's just say she's not the nurturing type. What? Ma'am, there's an electrical outage in the neighborhood. I need to check your breakers. Our breakers are fine, thanks. Ma'am, this is routine. I need to check your electrical breakers. Fuck off! didn't do anything supernatural in front of me so for all I knew I had the wrong girl Amber was different she remembered but she couldn't prove it
It's read. My name is David Shepard, and I'm here to defend you. Look, I know you've been through a lot. And you've been through some tough police investigations. But let's face it, the case against you is pretty strong. We have motive, murder weapon, fingerprints. Right now, the evidence is telling the story that you won't. You wouldn't believe me. Try me. Just go away. Okay. I'll go. It's my duty to inform you that in this state there is a mandatory death penalty for domestic violence. They're gonna fry you, Miss Reed. Yeah. Anyone who wants to die that bad must be guilty. I didn't kill my husband. Then who did? Nobody. I mean... <laughs> Evan was a piece of shit. He cheated on me all the time. I knew it, but I couldn't say anything. I never confronted him because, well, because of this. He would be me all the time. So bad I couldn't move for days. And he would hit me in the body so that the marks wouldn't show. I was like a hostage. God, I loved him. Now that he's dead, <laughs> I feel so free. <laughs> More free than I have in years. <laughs> Ironic, right? <laughs> so how did he die? I swear to you, I don't. No. I mean, I saw it. But I don't believe it. I came home from work, and he had the other woman in my bed. I started cursing him. I got so mad, I ran up and I smacked him. She ran away. He started kicking me and punching me and, well... You see, I just, I prayed that I would pass out. I prayed, but I just stayed awake, taking the blows. Blow after blow. Somehow I made it to the kitchen. He followed me. I grabbed a butter knife, a dull butter knife. <laughs> he laughed at me. I'm standing there bleeding from my eye and my lip and this fucker thinks it's funny? That's when it happened. It. I just imagined the knife being sharp enough to cut the shit out of him. I was just so angry and so tired. Then the knife, it just, it just flew out of my hand and into his neck. Listen, 
Mister, you gotta help me. I'm not a killer. Please, I swear. I know I sound crazy, but you have to believe me. I didn't I do it. You. you do? Yes. I do. Wait, who the fuck are you? You're not an attorney! Shh. I never said I was an attorney. I said, I'm here to protect you. Excuse me. I'm Aaron Davis. My sister's Amber Reed. Can you tell me what room number she's in? Um, Mr. Davis, your sister can't have any visitors right now. Thing is, your sister's severely injured. I take it you want to close? Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's been a while. Exactly what kind of injuries? Well, your sister has severe internal bleeding, extensive organ damage, and quite frankly, I haven't seen anyone in her condition survive. The thing is, your sister is under arrest. Her husband was found stabbed to death, and they seem to think that she committed the murder. She couldn't have possibly done this. Thank you, Doctor. You've been very helpful. Mr. Davis, Mr. Davis, I feel it. Something's not right here. Your sister didn't do this. She couldn't have done this. There's something fishy, and it's a good thing you got that lawyer. Lawyer? Oh. Well, it's good to see which side you're on. Thank <laughs> you. 
those two stories together, that was enough for me. After that, I had a new mission. Capture the girls and train them to stay alive long enough to expose the conspiracy. This was my only shot at getting justice for what happened to Eve. Maybe you should stay away from the windows till you figure out who's trying to kill you. Something feels off. Finish telling me why you disobeyed orders and went rogue. Familiar. Have I seen you before? Maybe at the club? No, man. I'm not a bala. So, how long have you been doing this? Too long. I bet you get a lot of taxi cab confessions, right? You want to hear one? It's a big one. Well, it's your dime and my time. Fire away. I made 12 grand tonight. So what I need, big money girl, to reach for my blood. I <laughs> stole 11 of it. Oh shit. I left the money in my locker at the club. You have to take me back. Look, I know it's a pain, but I swear, I'm good for it. Honest. Come on. I'm sure we can come up with some understanding. You got something I want, I got something you want. I can do some amazing things. at the safe house. It was becoming a mess. I stashed the other two girls in a different location. Garcia had her hands full, but I couldn't be in two places at once. I'm surprised they survived her. Do you plan on feeding us any hot food? The 
So, how long have you known Mr. Shepard? I mean, he must be pretty important for you to risk your life to. Let's get this straight. I am not your friend. I am stuck here babysitting you until your Mr. Shepard gets his ass back here. And for some reason, he is willing to risk his life for you. If something happens to him, I will kill all of you and collect a nice big bounty. Try me. for the last one. You know I don't play that. I got the key. You're not here. Give me some for the road too. Okay. I got some new stuff if you're interested. This thing here. Place it under your tongue. It'll take you to a whole world. Give me some over two. I got this, Cassie. Besides, you have a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy? I have a boyfriend with money. Nadia has a sugar daddy. Right? He's married to the man. I told you. I told you to stay after you poison there until he was dead. But he Sit the fuck down. In this town, I decide who get clipped and who walks away. Who lives and who dies. Me, Salvatore Nucci, not you. This bitch is done. Cancel her contract. Contract canceled. Wanna store a million in Nashi Clientore? His name. Sorry. Sorry doesn't pay the bills. Now shut up and listen. You call your other boss, and you tell him that I have some new product for him. A 20-something Chinese girl and a preteen Mexican. I want $30,000 for each. Cash. If you fail me again, even being my daughter will not save you.
Treaty's destiny. How is unemployment treating you? Well, let's see. Luis something 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 Martinez. Six hundred dollars. Nice. Ryan Winslow, the third. Sounds rich. $200. Cheap bastard. Probably live with mama and daddy. Jamal Jenkins. Kind of cute. I'm gonna have to give you a ring, partner. Oh, jackpot! Woo! Make it rain, JJ. Yes. You, sir, I think you deserve a round two. New outfit, new scam, same guy, and a happy ending. Mm, nah, too risky. Huh? Well, I guess what they say is true. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. Cannot agree more with you. Sit your ass down. It's almost three thousand dollars. They just take it and go. I don't want your fucking money. I'm here for you. Whoever you are, walk away. You pulled this at the worst possible time, Shepard. I called a meeting to order the manipulation of XRC to eliminate Blackstone. But it backfired. They came after us. They killed all of my operatives. Except you. They definitely tried. Everywhere we went, they found us. Bitch, you pull the trigger, you're, you're gonna, gonna be, be the next to die! <laughs> bitch, call me a bitch again! Say it! So everyone can hear you, come on! Garcia, what are you doing? Stick to the plan. Garcia! Why the hell have you been? She's crazy. Our survival depends on them, and you know that. Let her go. Your time is coming. You just wait. You little Inside! Fuck. What? It's you, me, Vasquez, and Rock against the entire intelligence community. These girls are an arsenal. We need them. What if these girls are duds? Huh? You want me to risk my life for that trash out there? What is your problem? What is my problem? That is my problem. Get him on the I'll find you. Now keep me safe. I'll be fine. Go. They keep you alive. His wife owed me a favor. What kind of favor? We had an encounter. <laughs> we had an encounter, and I could have killed her, but I let her live. I'm here for you. Whoever you are, walk away.
Well, if that's the story you're going with, I guess I will have to accept it. Well, For now. We have work to do. I thought Harris Corp was finished. Harris is finished. I'm not. Let's just say that we have been resurrected by a very unlikely source. Sir, you remember two weeks ago, the Psychodyne Project cash contract? I sent a representative to meet with the Veep and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of... You have no idea that that meeting took place. Tell me more, Yvonne. Tell me everything you know about the Psychodyne Project. Sir, I swear to you, I had no idea that they were trying to cover up a, a mass murder. As contractors, we serve the interests of the United States, and we operate on a need-to-know basis. Relax, Yvonne. I know you didn't know. Want to hear a secret? I can't believe I got reelected. Frankly, I didn't even want to run again. As a half-Columbian, half-nobody white guy from Harlem, uh, running on a platform of an America for everybody, I guess I was a fan favorite from the beginning. It was almost too easy. You probably voted for me too, huh? No, sir. No. Uh, to be quite honest, I thought you were too idealistic to make good on most of your promises. Touché. And you were right. I ran for president to make a difference. And now, four years later, I realize that Washington is an apocalyptic wasteland filled with gutless snakes who are more concerned with their own political survival than with making the world a better place. Nowadays, evil people throw stones and then hide the hand. Terrorists hide in mountain caves or in countries that won't extradite them. Dictators commit genocide while the UN resolves to find diplomatic solutions for atrocities they've already committed. And here in this country, murderers hide behind the Constitution or public opinion that disfavors killing the killers. Yvonne, I want you to create a task force that reports directly to me. It's a sort of splinter cell of the Secret Service. Your mission will be to exact real justice. All due respect, I'm ruined. My company is decimated and almost all my operatives have been killed. Almost? A small group of operatives went rogue during the Psychodyne fiasco. I know about the murdered babies, but I think they're protecting the girls. I'll be damned. Sir? These operatives are willing to risk their own lives by taking on the entire intelligence community just to save five innocent people? That, Yvonne, is exactly what I need. Heroes. Real heroes. Do this, and I will give you everything you need. Money, training facilities, weapons, whatever. If you want to make a real difference in this world, put this team together and you will become the most powerful clandestine fighting force this world will never see. Known only to my inner circle as the Cell. So, if you have the team, the President is willing to spend big money to Finance, clandestine, operations off the books. So, the million dollar question is where are the girls? They're in a safe place. I would have brought them with me, but I kind of thought you were trying to murder me. Can you keep them safe? The president can. I'll tell you what. Why don't you write down the coordinates of where they are and I'll have a team sent to pick them up.
It's not exactly grid coordinates, but this is what I've got for you. How do I know I can trust you? This is Dana Mitchell with Channel 7 News reporting live from Arlington, Virginia, where a home was riddled with bullets by unidentified gunmen, then bombed in what authorities are calling an attempted professional hit. Police say the suspects are still at large. No bodies were found at the scene.